Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking about Windows 365 Cloud PC. So before we directly jump into it, I will be just giving you a brief introduction of Windows 365 Cloud PC. So the Cloud PC, as the name suggests, is a PC which will sit on a remote server and you can access it from anywhere, any place in the world, provided you should have internet connection and a device to access it. So the cloud PC actually gives you complete freedom of carrying a physical device. So you can enjoy your personal PC or your business PC without carrying a physical machine. So without ado, let's get started. So in this video, I will give you a quick glimpse of using this cloud PC. So first of all, uh, you can access your cloud PC through browser. But here I have installed this uh, remote desktop client which is pretty common if you're going to use cloud pc if you want to know how to install it i will provide you the video link in the description and you can also find uh, some video link where you can try windows 365 cloud pc for free on the right hand corner now let me just start it and we will see uh, how good actually it performs. so let me make a double click on it on my windows cloud pc and here you can see my configuration it comes with 2 cpu and 8 gigabyte of ram so this is how it look and here we can see in terms of basic desktop graphics it does not look like we are running a remote pc and even with the mouse movement here you can see you know there is zero lag in a uh, mouse movement however when you try to open something then you may find a little bit of lag so let me quickly uh, click here on this windows button so now i can see the lag because my mouse already being moved and then uh, later on the highlighter is following up my mouse pointer so i can see lag uh, whenever you know when i am uh, accessing something in a dynamic way there are actually few softwares that come already installed with your with your cloud pc for example this microsoft office and with this configuration uh, which is let me quickly show you here in setting uh, which is like two core processor and eight gigabyte of ram we can easily work with some of productivity application as we can see here for example this as we can see here the microsoft excel the windows 365 cloud pc actually comes with microsoft office pre-installed these are the desktop application not the light version so you can uh, open them up and then you require to provide your product key and in this way guys you can use microsoft office onto it now here you can see i have just opened the microsoft powerpoint presentation and believe me guys the experience is so awesome that you actually will not realize that you are actually working in a cloud pc not the real system the only method to realize it is this toolbar which will appear whenever you will take your mouse pointer on the top so what i mean to say is you can install any productivity application and your system is well capable of handling such application now let's talk about some more graphic intensive application for example uh, browsing internet or watching video so let me just quickly open microsoft edge and uh, even if we see the graphics you know the pictures the pictures look uh, quite realistic like uh, the way we see the pictures in our native machine now let me just quickly open YouTube and here we will try to run a video and we will see you know whether we have a lag free experience or you know have a lag on it so let me just open my own video okay so let me just play a video of mine hi there everyone welcome to technoholic today i am so excited and here we go guys here we can see a ton of lag while playing the video content so in this case here i would say 
the audio is very clear as you can yeah, listen i'm going to unbox my brand new monitor which i bought for my own personal however we can see a dramatic amount of lag while playing video so playing video in cloud pc is not that great experience i would say so forget about playing games if you are planning to you know play some games in the cloud pc maybe with higher configuration you may play some arcade games or some you know board games onto your device but yes uh, in terms of video you may not able to enjoy a video onto it and let me quickly see if there is any game stall here okay so let me click this card game and maybe you know card game because there there is not enough motion involved so maybe this game may work just fine in this machine okay now we can see here we can play simple card game here in our cloud pc but really you know this game does not involve too much of motion and whenever we are seeing motion we are seeing a quite a huge frame drop uh, while you know playing this game one more last thing that i quickly want to show you is the kind of internet speed that you you know get with this machine uh if let's say i run so if i run speed test yeah i can see a very decent amount of internet speed let me quickly show you and here we go guys we are getting speed around 750 oh it finally dropped to 650 but still i would say the speed is quite good enough Okay so uh here we can see we got 650 Mbps downlink and more than 1 Gbps uplink which is great i would say i mean uh, my own internet speed is just 200 Mbps one may ask you know like how much minimum internet bandwidth is required to access your cloud pc so i would say like uh, even if you are getting a uh, speed of a consistent 0.5 Mbps is sufficient enough to browse to access your cloud pc while on the cloud pc you obviously will be getting you know um maybe 200 time faster internet speed okay so let's conclude this video so here is what we have seen since starting um and we can conclude this also we can easily run common productivity applications such as microsoft word office powerpoint onenote like these application we can easily run it we may not able to enjoy a video a lot here because uh, we can see frame drop and lag there however if we see the normal graphics uh, or even the desktop they look exactly like we are working with native pc in terms of audio playback i would say um, it worked perfectly fine there is no issue at all also we should not think of using this machine um, to play games because we definitely will see a lot of uh, you know frame drop and lag and secondly this pc also did not comes with any graphic card involved i hope guys you now have got a good insight on using cloud pc and the potential of cloud pc if you have any kind of question or concern please do let me know in comment down below and i will try to revert you as soon as possible till then take care and bye bye